Welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Psycho Goldfish, Goodell, RGP Ammons, and Staggermite. Thank you to Waterflow for the use of the song Gavinfly. Hey everybody, welcome to the New Grounds Podcast. I'm your anchor this week, Psycho G Oldfish. The G stands for gonads. I'm Goodell. Uh, I don't have a cool stands for anything. I'm Argy Pianums. Is that all you get? I'm Stagger Knight. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> They're getting quite more and more. I'm Stagger Knight. I'm what you do at night when you're drunk. And there you go. All right. <laughs> Bro, well, that was a uh, very impressive, Ryan. Uh, he's just RGP Anums, and he just happens to be here. We don't know why. Well, let's head over to Goodell with the news. Newgrounds News. Oh, news. All right, let's talk about the news. There are a couple big things that I want to talk about right now. Um, the first thing is that in two days from the time that we are recording this, and probably the date that this comes out, or the day before this episode actually comes out on Newgrounds, uh, is the Shelter-in-Place Art Competition that's uh, hosted by Ivan, I think? Is the one thinking? Yeah. Yeah. And so what you're doing there is it's uh, it's about how, you know, everybody's quarantined, we got the COVID-19, and you got to stay at home. So uh, to kind of cope with your emotions and deal with that in a healthy way, draw yourself dealing with your emotions in an unhealthy way in your little cube. So you draw you draw a nice isometric cube, draw yourself in it and what your environment is kind of like. Uh, there's an example on the uh, on the post about it. So if you just uh, check that out, you can kind of see what's what they've got in mind. And uh, there's been some cool submissions for that so far. So if you're listening to this live, you still got time, you can still do it. If you're not listening to this live, you should have done it. What's wrong with you? Moving on. The next thing coming up after that is on April 17th, the Art Inspired Music Contest is going on. AIM AIM 2020. It's where you make art. No, sorry. It's where you make music that's inspired by art on new grounds. And it's cool and you should check it out. Okay, April 27th is the deadline for the Hacksflixel Game Jam that Newgrounds is starting. And here's something really exciting about this. The prize pool is $1,100. Big money. That $100 really puts it over the top. It does, it does. If it was just $1,000, I'd be like, yeah. I, I sleep. But now that it's $1,100, <laughs> real shit. Anyway, uh... <laughs> Yeah, so there's a bunch of prizes for first through eighth place. Uh, Hacks Flixel is a uh, game engine, sort of game framework kind of thing. It's a port of the old Flixel system for Flash, but it's ported to the Hacks programming language. I've been playing around with it for the last few days. I don't entirely know how I feel about it yet. Has anybody here used Hacks Flixel at all? No. I have not. No. Let's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> if only Ninja Muffin was here instead of not not being here. Ah, he's got like a job or something. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh. Disgusting. Income gross. Yeah, I I hate it and I hate him. Being poor is the new rich. Yes. Yes. Speaking of uh, Ninja Muffin 99 though, he's been posting some news posts, some little tutorials about how to kind of get started. One of them is about uh, using the command prompt or the command line, which is a thing that I really haven't had to do a whole lot of in the past. So um, it was definitely appreciated that he posted that. And then his newest one is about using flash art with Hacksflexel. So definitely keep an eye on Ninja Muffin 99's page where he's presumably going to be posting more of those unless he uh, goes to work or whatever. <laughs> Fucking work and people. Disgusting. Sick. And that's the news of Newgrounds. Thank you. So, how's everybody doing right now? We uh, enjoying being cooped up and stuff? You know what you should do if you're stuck at home and you got nothing else to do? You should check out the front page of Newgrounds.com. And uh, here to give you some some really good stuff live from the front page, R-G-P-A-N-M-S. The A stands for asshole. I have to interrupt before Ryan starts, this because this is breaking right. news. This just happened right now. I just got a notification on Newgrounds. It's a follow from this account called AliceWanna22, uh, <laughs> created, created today, created today, has 30 favorites, 15 reviews, but no follows, no content whatsoever. And the whole Did they favorite news. the Mania map? If they didn't favorite the Mania map, then I sleep. <laughs> I don't know, but... 
But uh, the only thing on this page is a, a link to a definitely not sketchy at all website. And uh, it God. says, my webcam is here. So Sounds cool. legit. Oh. Well, we don't get L's doing today. <laughs> also, also, the wallpaper is just an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, the no, page. live from you the front page. <laughs> live from the front page. Okay, well, this is Archie Piano. We're going to be doing ASMR live from the front page. Uh, first off is Toad Richie by Twisted Grim. Um, after God knows how many years, he finally made an original cartoon, and it's just as good as ever. Right. And it's honestly really right. cool to I see it. get so erect, please. Okay. Bro, <laughs> 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 I'm underage. All right. Toad Richie by Twisted Grimm. A uh, brand new parody, like, full cartoon with voice acting and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I just think it's really cool to see, like, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, Toad Richie by Twisted Grim. Next up is Game Store by Wayvetro. Uh, just funny parody of GameStop and how, um... It's, uh, it's not GameStop, it's, a, it's an unnamed brick-and-mortar game store. <laughs> it's an unnamed brick-and-mortar. It's, brick it's Game Store Co., alright? <laughs> All right, next up is Kevil the Japanese Devil by Stratomir. I, th I think that's how you say it. It's actually yeah, a pretty cool pilot episode, whatever. And it's about Jiro, who's basically like a Japanese student. Yeah, he gets like straight A's on his like grades. But then all of a sudden he fails one of his subjects. He fails a test and then he's sent to hell. <laughs> what now? Find out by watching the video. It's a really good animation, cool style. I dig it. I can't wait to see if there's any more, like, you know, anything else to come out of it. But yeah. Uh, next up is... All right, okay, another one that it's no longer on the front page, but you know what? I'm going to talk about it anyways. It's T by R. Wappen. He did a lot of animations for Logan Whitehurst. You may know of him since one of my friends, Lil Box, is actually doing a documentary on Logan Whitehurst. And turns out that R. Wappen actually did a couple, like, animated, like, versions of, yeah, Logan Whitehurst. But pretty much T. It's basically just some, like, British guy just talking about how he really likes T. And, like, the animation is, like, super expressive, smooth, and it's just, I don't know, it's, it's hilarious. It has, it has a quirky charm to it. You go give it a watch. I One already said no good one. Do you not want a spot of tea? Uh, next up is Evil Awakens by Chutney Glaze. Finally, another Chutney Glaze episode. I literally cannot wait for this thing to end. And by that, I mean <laughs> the final episode. No. <laughs> okay, now Evil Awakens. It's about evil awakening. Whoa. Whoa. Here's the thing, it's Chutney Glaze. What do you get? You get the good time. shit, alright? Right, okay. explain, explain why you said you can't wait for this to end. <laughs> because some sometime there will be an end. We don't know when, but it will but happen But it can't someday. come soon enough! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to art, we got uh, Kill Bill Primo. <laughs> By Logan Fresh, just uh, yeah. In order to, in order of celebrating Bill Primo, the legendary Bill Primo's birthday, We've got this beautiful piece by Logan Fresh. You know, super detailed. Has like a blocky. Uh, I don't know if you call it blocky, but it's just like the detail and the shading just makes it look like it's all like geometric. Like an old, it's just it's like an old etching almost. Yeah, and it's just really cool. Like Logan's style is wild. Like I, yeah, just, I can't even fathom how he does this. There's yeah, so it's like, many strokes. Exactly. It's like you don't really see this kind of style, like you know, on like new ground. So it's like like incredibly unique to Logan. It's just it yeah. is, and his his color choices too. Even if you only showed me like just blobs of color with no lines at all, I'd be able to tell that it was like Logan you could Fresh tell that it's a Logan Fresh yeah. drawing. Like so, anyone who is here just. Follow Logan Fresh. Give him some more follows. He honestly deserves it. Do it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow, right, so forceful. Is... <laughs> All 
All right, next up is is a couple pieces by Lewis and Andy Land, just to name a few. Uh, so for Andy Land, it's Quarantined, and for Lewis, it's Give Me Shelter. Both of these pieces and more for the, the Shelter in Place Art Contest by Ivan Almighty, the legend, the man himself. Yeah. So yeah, I just really like both pixel art pieces that I just mentioned and yeah and they're animated as well which is bonus points hopefully i don't know i'm curious to see who's the winner for it because there's a lot of great pieces both like you know illustrations like you got you got jamie r like in the in the contest you got like so many people like jesus matthew jesus, lopez jesus, jesus, jesus is in this i'm jesus. cheating man <laughs> He's got enlightenment on his side. I don't know if I can comment on that. <laughs> All right. Uh, next one in the art section is by Pylord Pictures or Colin Pylord called I Can't Believe We've Come So Far. And it's a piece of about see, a Steven Universe since, as you all know, Steven Universe is finally is coming to an end. So check out. He has a series called Oddball adventures pretty pretty cool i think he's working on the ed's world fan movie if any of you remember that so yeah go check him out all right next up final picture final one for the art section is bodies by quackatron 3000 yeah it's like a really like stylized like trippy wait why, why is this rated e like it's just blood and <laughs> I don't know. It's What's still cool happening? nonetheless. I love this picture, all right? It's, yeah, uh... That's surreal as hell. So you know the this ground? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know why it's rated E, though, considering that his eyes and just come out of his sockets and... Yeah, just... don't worry, I'll flag it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't flag it! I'll delete sorry, it. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. This picture reminds me of, like, um, you know Pablo Picasso's, like, I don't remember what it's called, but that war mural? Uh, Guernica. <laughs> is what it's called. It reminds me of that, sort of, where it's just, like, Picasso-style weird character design, and it's got this sort of, like, dark, like, it's war, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly what's happening here, I don't know why this person is exploding, but... <laughs> okay, for more front-page stuff, we got uh, another podcast, another fellow podcast series on Newgrounds, called oh. by, was it Terry by Terry Bell? I probably mess that up and it's a it's called the animation industry podcast and this episode in particular is on johnny phillips who you, some of you may recognize as the director the creator of uh, the final exit of the disciples of censure johnny was also part of the like did animation for weird helga and yeah the podcast is like pretty chill pretty good it like goes into like uh, johnny's experience with cal arts and just like the creation of her like short films and yeah it's just yeah it's a good podcast episode you know i honestly it's like really cool to see like more podcasts like sprout up from new grounds not just you know a couple of crickets and new grounds podcasts and grounds patrol there's like more like choice we gotta step up our game is what it means <laughs> anyways that's it for life on the front page and that concludes my asmr session Thank you, Ryan. Up to the next section. Uh, next up is Under the Radar. Hello there. I'm Timothy Tykebottom here with a recovering Reginald Huffelhauser III. Oh, hello. Oh, poor fellow. You'll be all right. Today, we are reviewing a book called In Your Face by Fisty Fisterton. It's about a secret undercover agent whose code name is Jake Delirious. Let's read an excerpt, shall we? I suppose so. Oh look! The book comes with a pair of sunglasses. Absolutely brilliant. I'll put them on. Page one. If you don't know Sirius, you don't know Jack. Surprise, asshole! It was me the whole time. But I, I thought you were my friend. What have you done to Tim? Timmy's rethinking his life in the janitor closet. I suggest you go there too, sonny boy. <laughs> Today's under the radar pick. That bloke's basement by Old Man Chimes. 
if you don't plan on sleeping tonight, check out this short, disturbing animation about a guy in his basement. And I don't know what the hell he is, but his disturbing face looks like he dipped his face in cocaine and sucked the hydration out of his eyes until they shriveled up into the pits of despair. It'll haunt you for weeks to come. He doesn't want anyone looking around at his basement because he's up to no good. He's got a stick boy laying around because he wanted to get some wood. I guess that joke didn't stick. Cause uh, yeah, anyway, this hilarious and horrifying yet well animated cartoon has a unique art style and deserves more views. Go check it out. Only on Newgrounds. Jack Sirius out. That was seriously awesome. Hell yeah. Love it when Jack Sirius pops in. Hell yeah. Jack Sirius. Hell yeah. Got my blood Next pumped. up is a bit of a new segment. Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> the real host is back. I'm back. I'm back like Jack, and I'm also serious. Oh, we're uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk a little about the elephant in the room. Uh, that's the uh, COVID nineteen situation we all seem to find ourselves stuck in, mm-hmm. except for Ninja Muffin, because that fucker still works. <laughs> so, how are you guys uh, dealing with the uh, all the downtime? I can't go to school anymore. We're now all doing online learning. I gotta talk about my knuckles. I am knuckles, been washing that's... my hands so much that <laughs> all of my knuckles are bleeding and have scabs in between, like, my little finger pits. My finger pits bleed. Like, I have been washing my hands relentlessly. See, the irony there is now you've got all these open wounds that can get infected I know, with viruses. That's what I'm so you gotta wash it even more. I know. I I'm gonna keep never washing want to hear no skin. the word finger pits ever again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, what would you call them? <laughs> I don't know, but I have finger pits. Now I'm scarred. <laughs> He's got webs. <laughs> I, got, I got freaking frog hands. COVID not- Wait, is anyone on lockdown? No, uh, right. we, so- we can leave our house. We're shelter in place, but we're allowed to go out and walk and buy food and shit. But that's all we're all allowed right. to do. Yeah, I was going to say, like, pretty much in Australia, yeah, pretty much uh, all restaurants and cafes are restricted to takeaway and delivery only. That's true here, too. Uh, I think gyms are closed. Churches yep. are closed. Yep. Weddings, you can only have, like, a maximum of five people. Hell yeah. That's a good one. Uh, funerals, you can only have a maximum of 10 people. And also, like, a bunch of, like, uh, retailers, both, like, international and local, have, or, like, temporarily closed. Like, if I remember from the top of my head, there's, like, there's, like, Apple Store, there's Maya, which is, like, a big department store chain, Cotton On, Country Road, Katmandu, like, Rip Curl, just a whole heap of shops, just... Yeah. Stuff is pretty much the same here as what you're describing, like restaurants. TK Maxx, I forgot to mention that. Well, TJ Maxx. That was important, yeah. TJ Maxx. That's a big loss to me. (laughs) When was the last time any of you went to a TJ Maxx? I actually went to one, like, last month. I'm I'm in a TJ Maxx right now. (laughs) How do you think you've got such good audio? (laughs) Uh, pretty much, pretty much same, awesome same situation here. TK Maxx stores are closed. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to talk about TJ Maxx more? Or what? Oh, he's we call it TK Maxx. So yeah, same, pretty much same thing here. All the restaurants are closed. To, uh, you can only do takeout. That's another thing, though. It's like like a Starbucks was opening up in like a local You don't have area. one on every corner yet? Uh, no. No, surprisingly, like, Australia, like, Starbucks had a lot more stores in, two th- like, back in the 2000s, but then they closed, like, nearly two-thirds of them in 2008, but now they're, like, coming back. But apparently they said that they were trying to cater more towards tourists, which doesn't make sense, because it's, like, apparently there's a drive through Starbucks up in, like, Mount Druid, which is, like, far west. Dude, no matter where you go, there's a Starbucks waiting for you. I gotta yeah. say, with your accent, I swear to God you just said they were yeah. trying to cater to terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically, apparently there was supposed to be a Starbucks opening, but because of COVID-19, it's been delayed, so... So, my situation with the COVID is basically the same as you guys. I was in school. No, I'm not because of it, so that's great. And uh, <laughs> that's kind of it. I've been enjoying my time in ultimate isolation. I hate to say it, I kind of 
would really like to be, like, isolated, but I can't because my work is considered essential, so I still have to go to work. I, I just, <laughs> I've been saying this for a while now, like, I'm mm. dying for just, like, two weeks off of work to just, like, do Wait, you can't shit. work from home? Myself. Not, no, I can't. Uh. Speaking of uh, big news related to COVID-19, though, um, big news! Yesterday, I believe it was, the, uh, the U.S. Oh, passed its little... largest stimulus spending package ever. Oh, uh, yeah, wasn't it, like, three trillion? Um, it's, it's minimum of two trillion up to six trillion, if I'm remembering the numbers correctly. And, uh, part of it is, is everybody in this country who makes less than, it was either 75,000 or $99,000 a year. So uh, most people. (laughs) So most people, yes, will receive a, uh, $1,200 check from the IRS. So that's, uh, that's exciting. Yeah. And then it scales down just like, like 50 bucks for different brackets, so... Even up beyond that, people are still going to get something. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Remember when the U.S. spent all of its money on the mir- military? Dab. <laughs> what? <laughs> you take that back. Shut up, Ryan! <laughs> <laughs> See, my lockdown hasn't changed too much. I'm still doing the exact same thing that I would have been doing because old man Phelps says we're essential, so... <laughs> we're still we're still coding away. I have been hosting uh, party games in another Discord channel just for everybody that's home bored and people seem to appreciate that. Anyways, next up is Shut up, audience. Ryan. It's the audience participation game where we get Oh, uh, this okay, actually I'll let Goodell explain cuz it's a bit different, but may I choose the guests? Um yeah, yeah. sure, I guess. Yeah, right. get, go for it. Do that first. Okay. This one is a bit of an interesting one because it has two participants, which will be chosen at random. So, Exhibit A, Bill Primo. Bill Primo, introduce yourself. Hey. What's up, Bill? Hi. How's it going? You Bill, are. We love Bill. We love Bill. Yeah. Bill Primo. Yo, we just gave a shout out to your birthday. Happy birthday to Bill oh, Primo. Oh, really? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. All right. Exhibit B. Tony Studios. Tony. Yes. Yay. Okay, okay. got Tony Studios, the man, the myth, the legend himself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. got two greats. Here's, here's how this is going to work. Uh, first of all, I'll run, I'll run down how this, what, what the concept of this game is. So, without saying the animator's name, and without saying the names of any of their videos, I'm going to describe an animator's style. Both players are going to try to guess which animator from Newgrounds that I am describing. You can have unlimited guesses, and you can shout out your guess at any time. And the first person to guess correctly gets a point. First person to get three points wins. If you win, you receive one month of supporter status on Newgrounds, and you also get the winner roll in this server for two weeks. Sound good? And if you already have supporter status, you can choose who to gift it to. Right. So you can, if you already have supporter status, you can choose who I will gift the supporter status to. Special thing for this game, I am not going to mute the chat. So the chat will also be making guesses, and if the chat says something right, you can say it, and then you will get that point. Uh, Okay. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Round one. Fight! This animator is a longtime Newgrounds user, famous internet-wide, has a very... Creepy, weird, and surreal style. David Firth! Yep, there you go. Cool. One point. <laughs> there you go. There's point. one point. Slapstick, retro style comedy reminiscent of stuff from like the 1940s, but it's got this really saturated color scheme, you know, bright, vivid colors. It's got Ungasm. these blue outlines. Uh, everything in this world is very, very round. The characters are round, the backgrounds are round. Sometimes the content is wholesome, sometimes the content is dark. I would describe this content as fruity. <laughs> well, maybe Meet Kenyon? It's not Meet Kenyon. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you should be reading the general <laughs> chat there. <laughs> Every Everybody in the, the live uh, chat seems wave. to know this. No way! <laughs> <laughs> like, they, got, they got purple outlines or something, right? I don't, I don't know. This animator once made a cartoon about a ninja with a large and powerful ball sack. <gasps> Shit! Um. <laughs> He's on it! <laughs> Everybody in the live chat is furious right now. <laughs> it's so good! Chutney Glaze. 
It's Johnny uh, Blaze. Oh. <laughs> Tony oh, literally I, responded I in the chat and didn't say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Should, Tony, we, should that be a time? Should that Tony, be a time? Tony, are you good? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You should, wait, should, okay. should it be a tie or no points? Or should Bill get the point? Um, I don't know, because we only planned five rounds. So that's kind of... Oh, yeah. If you think you could impromptu do an animator, then we could say no oh. points. <laughs> All right, I don't know. We'll we'll keep going for now. Let's do uh, let's do this one. <clears throat> no, let's not do that one. Let's do a different one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this I think this one might be a little bit harder. I don't know if it, I, any of you would be able to guess it either. Uh, so, fellow hosts, feel free to type in the chat if you can uh, think right. of who this might be. Lately, this animator has been using few, if any, words in their pop culture parody animations. This animator's got some incredible, impeccable comedic timing with things like perfectly cut screams. This artist is especially known for doing simplified plots from source materials. You might even call them recaps. Final hint is Simba. James Lee. <laughs> it's not James Lee. Fuck. <laughs> Cass? Hold on, let me think. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, uh, Lion King parody? Like, like, yeah. Cass? No. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was, it was Cass VDP. Cass Vanderpool, I believe is what that stands for. Um, alright, we're gonna... <laughs> we'll do... One more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Winner takes all. <laughs> Winner takes all. <laughs> oh god, I'm nervous. Winner takes all, okay. All right, here we go. This next animator is an OG since 2003. Been around forever, making some incredible, spontaneous, hilarious animations. Tends to be badly drawn, but in a sort of intentional way. A number of the, this animator's cartoons have uh, musical numbers. Um, they rely pretty heavily on crew. Sick humor. animation. Boom! Yes! Yep, yeah! Yep. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, your champion, Bill Primo! Sorry, Tony, but another connect this time. Alright. Cool, thank you both for playing. I'm server muting you now. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye forever. No, but, okay, so Bill Primo, who do you... Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll unmute him. Do you Too late. Have Too late. Guys? No, you're back. Do you already have support? Oh, no, okay, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, I already have it. You... Okay, so who do you want, who do you want, want to, to give to? it to? Ooh, let me check. Um, Do you think anyone who doesn't already have supporter status? Is it Tony? Does Tony have supporter? Give it to him. He's got it. Tony Studios, does he have supporter? He doesn't! Okay! Yeah, Tony, yeah, yeah. Set, it's settled. <laughs> what a good okay. sport. What a, but, this is why Bill Primo is the best. Bill, you do get uh, the winner roll. What color do you want your roll to be? Uh, what, where are the, what are the colors on here? Um, just, you know. The, oh, what's the, colors the worst one? The what's the worst color? Uh, the worst one's like a that shit brown. Like, All right, do that one. <laughs> okay, you got it. I was gonna brown. say, I was gonna say a dark gray, so you can never read his name. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, it's up to, up to you. What do you want? What color do you want? I can literally uh, pick any color. So, um, cobalt. There Ooh, we go. I love cobalt. You, my friend, made a good choice. I don't know if. That counts as cobalt, but if you want me to change it later, you can. Okay, now you're getting server muted. Goodbye, thanks for playing. <laughs> Bye, Bill. <laughs> and happy birthday. And happy birthday to Bill Primo. Happy birthday, Bill. Good game, everybody. Whoa. That was a uh, intense, intense competition. Uh, yeah. Brilliant, brilliantly hosted, Goodell. Brilliantly hosted. <laughs> thanks. The prep, the preparation levels on that game <laughs> shone through magnificently. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I feel that way about this entire episode. Moving on. Spe speaking of uh, magnificent preparation, let's see how well everybody is prepared for uh, this week's Spotlights. Ryan, I'm you want to go first? Spotlights. Uh, I only got one pick. It's an older one, but I mean, I kind of knew that the front page was going to go on a little long, and we don't want to sit here talking about submissions for hours and hours after, you know, Ryan sucked all the air out of the room. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, one of my favorite 
It's a, it's a game. Um, it's older, but if you play it, you'll just understand why I love it so much. It's just stupid. It's a wrestling game. You oh, can make yeah. your guy move around, jump up and down, and spin his arms around. It's all physics-based, and all you do is try and throw the other wrestlers out of the ring. They start dropping out of your paint, out of the sky and stuff, and it's just it's hilarious to play. You give it a shot. It's it's good for at least five minutes and laughing your ass. I'll go next, so I just got a few things. Um, one thing that wasn't mentioned earlier, I believe, is uh, Just Beyond the Golden Arches. This is Meat Canyon and Romeo Jr., or Mark M., or Sick Animations, as the voice of Ronald McDonald. Incredible pairing, very good video. I strongly recommend that you watch it. Also, I, Meat I, Canyon I just that. uploaded a brand new day drinking. Oh yeah, new day drinking. Uh, right. The only other thing that I really wanted to shout out was... Uh, this just one artist who posted a few things recently, um, including this, which I thought was really neat. So the artist is Weizsifopma, is how I'm going to try to say it. Um, <laughs> right. And uh, they've been posting these like really realistic fantasy drawings. This one is the Winged Dragon of Ra from Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, Winged Dragon cool of Ra. Oh wow. Whoa. That's awesome. Yeah, there's and there's a bunch of those, so definitely uh, check out that artist. Alright, my one's mainly just gonna be art shoutouts because, oh, no. yeah, most of the stuff that I would put in personal shoutouts I already covered in the front page. Anyways, first off is a piece by Jolly Moly called Do What a Pullover Says. Pretty self explanatory, am I right? And I know. But pretty much, yeah, it's like a, yeah, Jolly Moly. He's actually, yeah, a pretty cool artist. He has a neat art style, like, you know, the, like the line art and the, uh, yeah. It uh, gives me the vibes from a uh, Lethal League. Yeah. Which is great. That's okay. Next up is a piece by Lahat called Phantom of the Void. Ooh, it's a, it's cool. actually animated and it's supposed to be a commission from yeah, a good friend of his. And yeah, like the color choices are really nice. You've got the red, purple, and black. It's like, you know, jittery-ish animation, but that's supposed to be like intentional. I, I think- I love it. If I had to give criticism, constructive criticism, I'd say like the parts where it's tweened, maybe it's just a personal thing, I don't know, but it's like, it's a bit, robotic where it's like there isn't mu that much easing but it, on w on the other hand it could be an intentional choice like you know to show how like you know like dead and mechanical he is because i mean it makes a lot of creepier face, literally it's cold. yeah it's kind of uncanny love it yeah so actually yeah ret i retract my uh <laughs> comment yeah this is this is good go just del just delete the last 10 minutes there there you go. <laughs> Delete the last 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, next up is Curie 08 with My Desk. Uh, I've been following this artist for quite a while, and yeah, they're like a really cool madness artist. Yeah, they also, yeah, she also does uh, like just general like art, like, you know, humanoid art pieces. Yeah, especially this one, like the lighting is really nice. There's like a lot of like atmosphere, like detail. And yeah, it's just like really nice to like look at. Uh, who else hasn't I got, done it? Yeah. I, I got one. All right. What you got? <clears throat> so, <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce this, but this piece is from uh, Orphic Sao. He also did the Emperor's Jewel animation. Oh, recently. God! Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I know him. Yeah, and, he's cool. uh, yeah. I love this drawing. Uh, it's like Libula? 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 It looks... Oh, yeah, Orphic Sao's really good. It looks yeah. freaking awesome. And it's done on what looks like to just be like canvas paper just paper i would do wouldn't know but it's uh i love black and white type art where it's all yeah, about I was gonna say, contrast yeah, I, I, that shit yeah, i think i've known about him about? since like 2017 and yeah his art's just like and animation skills as well is like gotten a lot whole lot better it's just yeah yeah props to him yeah this is sick very cool. Yeah, like, just check out Orphic So. Because he, yeah, it's like really cool. Like, is he, yeah, if you look at his art, it's a lot of like, you know, like black and white, like creepy, like demonic stuff. And yet, when you look at his movies, it's like, you know, bright, like colorful, like, you know, clean lines. It's like, yeah. You got two very distinct styles, and they're both good. Yeah. All right, that's all and I And my final, if I want, okay. Uh, surprise shout out. I want to give a shout out to <laughs> surprise this shout out. by Ninja Muffin 99 and Wonder Boy called The E Girl Experience. Oh, yeah. Which is basically <laughs> it's just Ninja Muffin and Wonder Boy just talking to E Girls for a whole hour. <laughs> <laughs> this should be shared among everybody. Okay, apparently. do your intro yeah. right now. Oh, what? <laughs> What's up, YouTube?
I mean, <laughs> what's <Pog>? up, Newgrounds? <laughs> it's your boy, Ninja Muffin 99 We're with on the hunt. Little, little, little... I'm with my little friend, Wanda Boy. So we're going to listen to all of this right now. <laughs> How long is this? Yes. An hour and, an a, hour half. and a half. Don't worry. <laughs> we're, we're on the hunt <laughs> Strapping <laughs> lads. Woman, also known as E-Girls. <laughs> Let me log in. I hope... <laughs> Hold on, I hope I'm not banned. We are using the okay. website eGirls.gg, and we are going to be hunting down <laughs> mysterious internet women and asking them questions and harassing them and making them uh, feel uncomfortable. I can't. Yeah. Wait. What a dream come true. Okay, let's hit up. Okay. Okay. Well, this is the part where. Are you Are you in the Discord as well? The eGirl Discord. Oh yeah, let's get in there. <laughs> In the edited version, I'm going to let that play out for the full hour. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and thank you. Continue, and then I'm going to continue, like, right here. Just like, like nothing happened. <laughs> As oh nothing transpired. Good stuff. Yeah. All right. Uh, speaking of the uh, e-girl audio piece, one more shout out. Okay, last one. <laughs> Surprise shout out. Really? You. Okay. It cut a Doro by Kylo. Who, uh, yeah, if we, if we were listening to the e-girl experience, uh, she's actually one of the e-girls. <laughs> <we're trying> <laughs> yeah, she actually made a Newgrounds account. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> that's pretty So good. yeah, that, that's it for shoutouts. I'm going to crawl Thank into my bed. Thank you, Ryan. We'll see you next summer. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we're all... <laughs> All right. Well, I think that does it for this episode. Any uh, closing thoughts by anybody? Um, uh, yeah. Shut up, Ryan. And uh, finger pits, banned. <laughs> uh, follow me. Uh, follow uh, Ninja Muffin Nine Nine on Twitter, or else I will come in. Yeah, I had to meet Ryan there. <laughs> <laughs> We're, we're done with that. Uh, yeah, so this has been uh, another exciting and super prepared episode of the Newgrounds podcast. Thank you all in the uh, chat for joining us. Uh, special shout out to uh, Tony Studios, Bill Primo, for joining us for our live game. Uh, been a real pleasure, y'all, except for Ryan. Fuck that guy. The, the, oh, what? We'll see you lovelies next time. Catch you all on the side. Follow us on Instagram. Yep. Follow us on Instagram. Instagram New Grounds is every dead. day. Follow us on Instagram. Click like, <laughs> click subscribe, and then click that little bell. <laughs> Guys, do me a huge favor. Like the video. <laughs> subscribe with the bell I thought. Uh, follow the Tire Pressure Project on, on whatever. Good show, guys. And goodbye. Bye. And good riddance. <laughs> Alright, are we done? We're done. Oh. Uh. Thank you for listening to the New Grounds Podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash ngpdiscord. Long live New Grounds.